we're going to be installing the door ajar switch on the 2006 Ford Taurus right side front door first thing we got to do is take off the entire door panel to get to that switch which is which is built into the lock or it's connected to the uh, door latch there's a few screws you need to take out one two three four five and there's two in here six seven screws they're all Phillips head screws take them out and the panel just pops right off once you get to this point you're gonna disconnect your connectors to the door panel all right disconnect both of those once you disconnect them the whole thing just comes out and get it out of the way now you're gonna have a plastic piece you're gonna pop this off the uh, door pull it out of the way you're gonna have one two three screws for the door latch they're T27 screws. Take all three of them out and that will release the latch. So the other thing is you're gonna have to take off the uh, manual lock on lock rod out. Disconnect the uh, rod for the door handle. And then that assembly should be able to work it out of there so you can get to it. This is where the manual lock on lock actually slides into. You pop that out of there. This is where the door handle latch goes into. You pop this pin out and the rod just pops out of there. And then you're able to work this whole thing right out. So right here, right in front of you, is the door switch. Door jaw switch. That's it right there. Now, this thing should just spin right out of there. So first thing I'm going to do is disconnect the connector. Look at all that moisture sitting there. That's what damages these things, is the moisture that gets inside these switches. All right, so there's a little pin. A little pin right here. I'm going to press down on it. And that should just pop right out. There we go. Look at all that moisture sitting in there. Look at all that. That's crazy. All right. There's a little clip in here that we have to uh, actually pop out of the way. And this should twist right out. Let's stick that in there. Pop that little pin out of the way. That should turn. And there it is. So there's the switch. The door ajar switch. Looks like crap. New switch. Slide it up in there. Turn it clockwise. All right, to take it out, it's counterclockwise to put it in. It's clockwise. So turn it clockwise and it locks in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of dielectric grease on the connector since this is a major problem area take your connector plug it in and you should be good to go now we're going to put this all back together since I went ahead and, and pulled this off the seal I'm going to use some duct tape just to hold uh, that plastic insulator whatever you want to call it in place all right to get your door panel back in you're going to put the handle through first get that started then you're going to put the manual door lock and unlock in. Then you're going to loop it in at the top here. There's a little lip. Lock that in. All right, get that lip in. Wherever there's a uh, plastic pin on the door panel, pop it in. And that's it. Now you're going to put all your screws back in the way they should be. And that's how you install the door jaw switch on a Ford Taurus right front door. Now, word of advice here, these switches on these doors they're all different I don't know what kind of Ford you guys got but any Ford make sure you get the right switch for the right door they are different from door to, from door to door so that's one thing to be aware of make sure you order the correct one if you're gonna order this alright now your switch should work fine when your doors open it should tell you your doors open when it's closed it should tell you your doors closed alright folks you all have a good day thank you for watching I appreciate it God bless you all bye bye Look at that, it's all corroded and so that's what happens with these. The uh, moisture gets inside of them and over time corrodes them and they don't work. Take care.